What's up, BBMS? It's Mr. Garner here. I guess you can figure out where I am right now. Unfortunately, it'd be nice for me to be going in here right now to hang out with you guys, do some school stuff, do some teaching, do some learning, do some laughing, having some fun. Who would have thought that I'd be sitting here wishing I was on the inside on such a beautiful day instead of being here on the outside? We miss you guys and hope to see you soon. We appreciate everyone showing up for their Google Meets. It's great to see your smiling faces and I uh, hope everybody is safe and their families are doing well. Take care. Hey Bunny Ranch, it's me, Miss Romans. So we take our daily walk on the road right by school. In case you forgot what she looked like from the back. Um, clearly we're not walking on the grounds, but I hope that you and your family are safe and that you have everything that you need and you're enjoying a little downtime. Miss you. Hi Bonnie Branch, how's everyone doing? I just wanted to say hi and let all of the Bonnie Branch students and staff know that I miss them all very much and I can't wait until we can all be back together again. But for now, I hope everyone's staying happy and healthy and safe at home. Until then, bye Bonnie Branch. <laughs> Sorry about that BBMS, I just got a little carried away making music at home and hope that some of you are doing that too. I want to let you know that I miss seeing you guys at school. I miss hearing you compose music and playing the drums with big smiles on your faces. I hope all of you are doing well and trying to do things that are fun and maybe even have a few laughs in the process. Perhaps some of you are watching a bit of TV. Maybe you like game shows. Or maybe you like cartoons. I certainly look forward to our next Google Meet and seeing where this new musical journey will take us. Take care, Bonnie Branch, and see you soon. Hi there, BBMS. Welcome to another edition of our weekly news. I want to thank this week Mr. Garner, Ms. Romans, Mr. Rainey, and Ms. Kozlowski for their introductory messages. I know that all of our staff are uh, certainly missing students and seeing you in person and it just has not been the same this quarter. Uh, we really hope that you're doing well and that as uh, time progresses on that you're staying healthy and continuing to uh, make it through this closure uh, as best as can be. We want to give a belated uh, happy Mother's Day message to all the moms out there. Uh, we know this was also a, a special time of the year for those celebrations and we hope that your families were able to uh, get together in some way and, and really highlight that important day for all of us. Uh, it's hard to believe that we are ending week four of virtual learning. I uh, hope that routines are starting to settle into place for you and we hope that check-ins are going well and that students are getting used to completing their assignments and turning them in each week. Please remember that if you need any help, that you email your teachers. Uh, we are probably about halfway through the quarter. We don't know the exact uh, last day of the year yet, but we do know for students that we're at a halfway point and you should be able to gauge whether you'll get that passing grade or not. And we hope you do. Uh, I have some great news to share with you this week, Bonnie Branch. We have two students who had some remarkable achievements and we want to highlight them today. One is Seth Markey. Seth is an eighth grade student and he recently advanced to the national level. Yes, the national level in the National History Day competition. So congratulations, Seth. He created a website on Jonas Salk and won over many entrants at the Maryland uh, state level. 
and we're excited to see him compete at the national level. So way to go. Also recently we knew that Serafina Jerome entered the film competition in Howard County and her film titled Bloody Mary won best uh, for middle schools. So for all middle school students, Serafina's film came in first place. So congratulations to you as well. I'd also like to give a quick shout out to all the students who are involved in creating the weekly BBC News. Uh, that is fantastic to see. We love seeing that each week. And for parents and students, if you haven't, uh, you can check that out on YouTube or you can check that out on our school's website. It is there for you to view. I want to also say thank you to all the parents who got involved with sending messages to teachers during Staff Appreciation Week. And I'd also like to thank our PTA for putting all that together for this week as well. Uh, we can't do half the things that we do at Bonnie Branch without the parent support we have. And it's great to get that level of support and we know we have a fantastic PTA and we're really just grateful for all of that. I'd like to just remind parents that if you're having any difficulty at home uh, getting used to the technology or connections or things that you just can't quite figure out, please remember that our media specialist, uh, Ms. Verlick and Ms. Went are there to help you. They have a Canvas webpage as well with plenty of resources uh, to help you through uh, this virtual learning time. And please don't forget to email your teachers. They are your first line of defense and often uh, the quickest way to get the help that you need. I want to list a couple things that you have as well. Right now, quarter three report cards and map reports were recently released to all parents uh, through HCPSS Connect. So those are in your accounts now. You should be able to view them. And I want to just bring up how we're going to do some end of year celebrations. Uh, we know that schools won't reopen, so all of our celebrations are going to have to be virtual. So to say goodbye to our eighth grade students just is not gonna be the same this year. So we're trying to come up with some uh, videos that will help celebrate your accomplishment uh, and let you know that we're thinking of you during this time. Uh, but we know that there are some county guidelines that we'll have to follow and we'll get that word out to you soon. But we want to let eighth grade students know that even though um, we won't be seeing you in person right now, we're thinking of you and we're so excited that you're reaching this milestone and, and you're definitely proving that you're ready for high school. We do know from Ms. Charbaugh that the yearbook has been ordered. It's in, it's uh, in the final stages of production and it will be here to us soon. We will have to get word out to our community about how you will be able to pick those up. Uh, so that news will be coming soon as well. And lastly, access to Bonnie Branch, the building. Uh, that's going to be also something that we have to share with you uh, because we don't have all the guidelines yet from our county, but we do know that we will be adhering to social distancing practices as you need to retrieve items for the summer whether that be uh, anything that students might have left in their lockers. We do know locker shelves. There's some instruments that need to be picked up. So all of those things, we will get word out to you on how that will be accomplished. Right now, there is still no access to the building for students. So we can't have anyone come up to the building to pick things up or drop things off. But if you have questions, as always, please email me. We're just an email away. Uh, we'll get back to you right, right away as quickly as we can and hopefully answer all your questions. Uh, we are sitting outside today, Bonnie Branch. The weather is starting to warm up. It's feeling like summer and spring will be here soon. Uh, we know that it's, it's been a tough quarter for everyone and we hope you're hanging in there. We hope you're doing well. And this message is really to just to be a little way that we can stay connected to let you know we're thinking of you and stay safe, Bonnie Branch. Take care for now. That's it for our weekly news. And go Sharks.